Imagine cities as giant engines. These engines sit in a very small area but consume a lot of energy and generate tons of emissions. Cities are similar. They cover less than 3% of the Earth's surface but generate 70% of the global CO2 emissions. They also consume 78% of the world's primary energy. Clearly, Cities are at the heart of the climate crisis, but they hold the key for the solutions as well. Imagine engines operating at the highest level of efficiency. Similarly, cities with innovative public transport systems, green buildings, and renewable energy can lead the way in climate action. As per the IPCC, the situation and the growth of cities present a unique opportunity. They are perfect testing ground to refine and scale up climate solutions. But how do we make our cities net zero? Climate change starts and ends with cities. Here are five areas to make our cities low carbon. Make new buildings ultra energy efficient and retrofit old ones. Every building should use energy and resources in the most efficient way. Switch to clean energy and electrify our systems. Use renewable power like solar and wind and avoid using fuels on site. Enhance smart energy infrastructure with efficient power generation, distributed energy sources, heating and cooling networks, and smart meters. Decarbonize and electrify transport Plan urban spaces near public transport for easy, clean, and efficient mobility. Establish a circular urban economy where residents consume less, reuse, and recycle. The built environment plays a crucial role in decarbonization of our city. From energy efficient buildings to sustainable urban planning, transforming our built environment is key to reducing our carbon footprint. I spoke with Jamila Almir, Senior Advisor at the UN High Level Climate Champions, about the potential savings in the region and the challenges of addressing the built environment. Regarding the role that the built environment plays in achieving net zero, especially in the UAE, latest NDC highlights that the built environment will help us achieve 85% of the carbon reductions that the country is targeting by 2030, which really hints at how important this sector is. As for the three main challenges that we're facing in the MENA region regarding the decarbonization of the built environment, I would place the first one being the existing building stock and the challenge of retrofitting the existing building stock so that it does help us achieve our net zero targets. And although there is commercial viability of retrofitting, we have still not been able to unlock this in the region. The second uh, challenge is perhaps um, the disparity in how ambitious the different building codes are within the countries of the MENA region, but also between them. And as soon as you have a bit more harmonization of building codes and uh, how higher ambition for the efficiency of the buildings through the building code, it really helps build up the entire skill of the supply chain from designers to contractors to uh, building material and system suppliers. And the last one, um, the last challenge perhaps would be the lack of innovation, provide the solutions that will help our buildings reach net zero, reach net zero by, by 2050. Dubai aims to be a global leader in sustainability and climate action. The government has put concerted focus on energy and sustainability with targets to generate 100% clean energy by 2050 and reduce energy and water demand by 50% by 2050. I spoke with Faisal Ali Rashid, Senior Director at the Dubai Supreme Council of Energy, about the key government initiatives in this regard. There is a tangible evidence that energy transition is actively happening both in terms of energy supply and in terms of demand side management. As well, uh, DSE Net Zero strategy is firmly in place now and the demand side management uh, strategy has been updated to align with these net zero targets. Additionally, Dubai uh, currently generates over 15% of its energy from solar uh, generating power with a commitment to reach 100% clean energy by 2050. Dubai 
as a city is a global leader in this recalling, boosting uh, market share to exceed 25%. As well, more than 15,000 building equivalent have been retrofitted in Emirates of Dubai, and also there are 60,000 green uh, registered uh, vehicle on the street of uh, Dubai. Over 14.6 million dirham has been saved through the implementation of energy and water efficiency measures.